What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and today I have a review of the Mattel Lightyear Alpha Class Alicia Hawthorne and Buzz Lightyear. That's right, my zillions. I found an Alpha Class at Target, and um, I had to pick it up because I haven't seen any of these yet, and uh, I was actually surprised because I didn't think they were out yet. I thought they were going to be out next month. I don't know if they were out by mistake or if this particular two pack is a Target exclusive or whatnot, but I was like, I, I don't know. You know, this is the collector scale light year figures, and this is the first I've seen of them, and I was kind of excited. So I was like, let's let's uh, let's let's grab them. Let's uh, let's grab these guys. Give them a look because um, there's more coming out. Uh, I am getting the SHF. Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear, but um, you know, as far as the rest of this line, I don't know. But I am curious about this for sure. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. And here they are out of their package, and they look pretty good. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, not bad here, Mattel. Not bad here at all. Let's start out, though, with accessories. First up, you get this kind of interesting-looking knife here. Um, and this one is for Alicia. It's got clear plastic on the edges, which is cool. Maybe that's, like, some sort of, like, energy thing. Uh, and the white in the middle looks pretty cool. And I don't know much about this movie. I haven't done, like, my research. I am looking forward to it. Um, but, you know, I haven't really read up too much on it. You can see the yellow is not so well done. But it's got, you know, paint there. You know, there's red paint there as well. So, that is not bad. And let's try to put it in their hand here. It should go in their hand. Oh, okay, I see her finger okay comes out and uh so i'm guessing it is some sort of energy thing because some sort of lightsaber because um it's got a trigger and you can put a finger in there if i can get it to do what it's supposed to that would be nice but i cannot at least from this angle Okay, there we go. Uh, that was not easy to do, and even still, like, as you can see, um, it's not going through that hole very well to hold it nicely, so I think the space in here uh, wasn't well cut. Maybe I could do more on this side. Nah, uh, this side is not cut at all, her finger, so that's a bit of a bummer. Also for Alicia, we get this thing, some sort of computer thing. I don't know what it is, honestly. Uh, and that's okay. That's fine. We'll find out as we go. It looks like a computer. Some sort of computer. See? It opens up. It's got some stuff there. 87% something or other. Looking for crystals. Analyzing crystals, maybe. Uh, again, I don't really know what the plot is and stuff. And uh, I'm kind of enjoying that. <laughs> so, you don't need to tell me. It is pretty cool, though. I have to say, some paint there decent enough so it's a little something for her to play around with then for buzz we get this thing here it looks like some sort of like 80s uh type of game like simon or something <laughs> it says ivan so it's like simon ivan was that like what <laughs> what the inspiration here was um but you get silver paint you get some nice metallic red paint ivan is written well and you know there's some other paint down here which looks good some writing down there yeah this is nice actually I, I i actually really dig this uh and then on the box it shows him holding it in this hand which i might need some heat for no maybe not so there you go so i don't know exactly what that is but i like it i think it's very well done we also get this thing here which looks pretty cool i think it goes like that actually because there's a o3 over there let's zoom in on that crystal yes yeah, so i guess that thing um that computer was scanning for crystal so again there must be some you know plot thing and this is pretty cool 
Now, the crystal's not inside. It's just printed on... <laughs> it's just, you know, uh, done on the outside, sculpted on the outside. But it looks really good. The whole thing is nice in general. Nice paint. I like this. This is cool. And I guess he could hold on to that as well. Oh, not in that hand. But maybe in that hand. Yep. Yeah. There you go. It's pretty neat. We get this pulse rifle, um, which looks very cool. Yellow <laughs> and gray. But it's fine. And a little bit of blue on the edge. Uh, the sculpt is decent enough. The paint is eh. On this side, you see the paint is still eh. Um, you got this, this is interesting. So you got this peg here, which is not in the product shot uh, for this. And there is no place on Buzz to pop that in. You see that? That's, that's weird. So it looks like something that was supposed to be for uh, Buzz to you know, plug in, there might have been a hole somewhere, and, you know, maybe there's a hole on a different figure. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> but this is how he looks with it. So, let's rock! It looks a little small in his hands, doesn't it? I think it kind of looks a little small. And then finally, we get Buzz, it, Buzz's helmet here with some uh, gray paint there, red little dot there, nice clear dome. Sculpt is pretty good all around. And we can pop that in. Goes in nicely, actually. So there you go. There's a, there's a look for you. Looking pretty slick. Yeah, I dig that. That, you know, I like him with the helmet on for sure. But how does he look with the helmet off? I think he looks pretty slick. Face sculpt is pretty good. The eyes look pretty nice. The eyebrows look pretty nice. He's got some scuff marks on him. Not perfect. There was two different copies, and uh, if you saw my Instagram, the, the, the one I actually bought was not the first one I found. Um, I don't know. I just couldn't decide on which ones had the better paint or not, and I didn't really see that scuffing in before, but maybe I just did that with the, uh, the taking off the helmet. I, I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. As you can see, the paint around his face could be a tad bit cleaner but i think with the helmet on it you know you really don't notice that oh I, I think it's a pretty good buzz face and i like his look on here uh it's pretty decent his his suit here so this is the xl15 flight suit uh it looks pretty good you see the little eagle thing there looks really nice some nice colors there it says light year there 15 there all of this is pretty sculpted, sculpted pretty well, this kind of armor. Oh my god, there's a lot going on back here. Um, and Mattel's really good at doing, like, tampos, if you've seen a lot of their WWE figures and stuff. Um, you know, they tampo stuff very well. Um, yeah, and this looks good. All of it looks pretty neat. Lots of colors, lots of metallics, which is good. I do like it. I could see that this isn't painted all the way around, though. Uh, it's just the tampo went a little bit off, but... You know, otherwise, it's on the back. So we get paint over here, too. Paint on this tubing here. On the side, it says SC. I don't know what SC means, but... I'm an SC. <laughs> uh, his elbow pad is painted nice. The orange is a really nice kind of almost metallic... Yeah, kind of pearlescent metallic orange. Very nice. These colors here look good. This gauntlet looks pretty decent. His gloves are really nice looking. I dig that. That looks pretty good. SC again, looking pretty cool. His belt buckle looks pretty neat. Not sure if that's messed up paint or it's supposed to be like scuffing. I'll call it scuffing. The um, belt buckle all around is pretty good with all little pouches. You get all of this right there. That's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of funny, but Pants look pretty good. Seam line looks really nice going down, actually. I do like the pants. Not bad. These belt buckles look... Not belt buckles, but, you know, buckles look pretty good. Straps. Strapping young lad. Ooh, and a lot of um, scuffing here at the at the 
boots. That's unfortunate. That could be better. All that doesn't look so great. Ooh, the back looks really bad. Yikes. Here in the bottom of the feet. Not so hot. Yeah. There's a lot of, like, uh, there's a lot of pain issues on this guy. Proportions are pretty good. This is a big figure. Um, yeah. He's, he's big, but the proportions are decent enough. But, man, there's, there's, there's some paint issues here. As for Alicia, proportions are really nice. I do dig it. The head sculpt is looking pretty good. The eyes look pretty good. Eyebrows, lips, nose is sculpted well. The ears are sculpted well. The hair is sculpted really well. Look at that. I like the two tones. Wow, look at that. That is fantastic. So really nice there. Shoulders look pretty decent. Be sculpted and painted. Hawthorne there looks really good. Gold is really nice going down and on that. Look at all those colors. That's fantastic. The jacket looks really great. Sleeves are pretty well done. The hands look okay. Yeah, this is pretty good. The belt looks really good. His lines are okay going on. There's a little bit of mess up, but it's not that bad. Over here, you know, just some excess. Well, it's like a sprue mark. That's fine. Not so bad. The yellow looks pretty decent going down her pants. Some nice uh, folds and wrinkles there. Pretty good. And the boots are just black, but they work. Um, the back, yeah, nothing going on, really. A lot going on on her chest, you know, like uh, on the chest, the jacket. Even up here. And it all looks good. And the face sculpt looks great. So, um, unless it turned out way, way better than Buzz, that's for sure. Um, yeah, this is, this is a good figure. It really is. So, how's articulation on these guys? Head is on a ball joint. Got an upper body joint here for Alicia. You have a waist joint. You have a hinge swivel at the shoulder. You have a bicep swivel. You have a double jointed elbow, which is cool. Hinge swivel at the wrist. Legs split that much, goes forward, goes back. Got that old style DC UC um, style uh, legs there. Swivel at the thigh, double jointed knee works really good. Do we got boot cut? I can't remember. Boot cut, yep. And rocker at the foot with a hinge. So honestly, really great articulation here. As for buzz head, moves nicely here on a ball joint. You do have the upper body joint which despite you know the armor actually pr moves pretty good and then you have a waist joint as well which actually is a ball joint as well it's different than Alicia's here hinge swivel at the shoulder swivel at the upper bicep cut differently but cut on the line good job double jointed elbow works well hinge swivel at the wrist the legs are weird here they are different than hers and I wish they weren't. I wish they went with that. It's on a ball joint, but look inside there. It feels like the plastic is getting stressed already. So that's a bit of a concern and he can't split that much. I feel like I'm gonna break this guy. Goes forward, it goes back. A Little bit of turning here, which again, nice cut. I do commend him on that. Double jointed knee works really well. Doesn't have a boot cut. And then you got rocker, which works eh. And then a hinge. So, uh, oof, I'm gonna break this. Not as good, I think, here. And for your size comparison, here's Buzz and Alicia with a bunch of other figures you might have in your collection. So you can see they're pretty tall, you know? Like, when you look at like a standard six inch figure, compare, you know, this Lightning Collection Pink Ranger with Alicia, she's much smaller. The SHF stuff, obviously they're not quite as tall as these guys, but uh, they're big, big size. They're they're way bigger than the regular six inch figures. So do keep that in mind. I feel like they scale probably pretty well with Mattel's uh, own like WWE Elite 
figures uh, in that kind of size scale, I think. Maybe a little bit shorter, but yeah, somewhere along those lines. And my final thoughts, well, it's a mixed bag, isn't it? Uh, Buzz turned out pretty badly overall. The articulation scares me. I feel like I'm gonna break the hip joints and the paint is kind of sloppy. He looks the part though. Uh, I do like this XL15 suit that he's wearing and that's really cool. And the accessories he comes with is pretty cool, but eh, he's secondary to Alicia here. Alicia is the star of this two pack. She looks great. She moves great, the articulation is awesome, and you know, she has some pretty cool accessories in her own right, so of these two, in this particular set of mine, she wins. Uh, there's no doubt about it, but you know, your mileage is going to vary depending on the ones you find. Will I get any more of these Alpha Class? Uh, I don't think so. I might look at the actual, you know, the regular suited buzz uh, when I see it, but I'm probably not going to pre-order it or, you know, like, you know, order it online. I'd have to see it in person based on the paint I got on this particular bus. So it is what it is. As far as light year in general, I don't know how far I'm going uh, into any product from this movie. I do kind of want to get a ship. I don't know if it's going to be like a small die cast ship, if it's going to be one of those little bit bigger ones. Or if I'm gonna go with a Chogokin, but I do want some representation of the ships because they look really, really nice. And I am on board with the SH Figure Arts. But for now, this one's a mixed bag. You guys let me know what you think down below. I did get it at Target. It was 40 bucks, so not a bad price. And there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, share, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.